from NBC News, this is Today with Matt Lauer and Meredith Vieira, live from Studio 1A in Rockefeller Plaza. Up next, fire safety and the smoke detectors that could save your loved ones. Today we're kicking off a new series, Cause for Alarm, looking at fire safety and your family. If your house catches fire, you trust that a smoke alarm is going to wake you up, but will it wake up your kids? Our national correspondent, Natalie Morales, put one family to the test, and what she found was eye-opening. It's after dark, and up in his bedroom, nine-year-old James Ricciardi is sleeping like a baby. He has no idea... His house could be going up in flames. This is truly a parent's worst nightmare. It truly is. Families trust that their smoke alarms will warn them in a fire. But our experiment found if you rely on them to wake up your children, it could be a deadly mistake. Every year in America, about 3,000 people die in fire. And most of them die in nighttime fires. So that's why it's so important to be prepared not only when you're awake, but especially when you're asleep. Who's your favorite Giants player? Jim and Janet Ricciardi thought their kids were prepared. With the fire alarm, it's pretty loud. Uh, I would expect that they would all get up and run to uh, our plan, which would be to run across the street to our neighbor's house and be outside and just uh, get out as fast as they can. So we decided to put their plan to the test. Meet the Ricciardi kids. Ten-year-old Justin, nine-year-old James, seven-year-old Johnny, and four-year-old Lindsay. Who can tell me what this is? We had home safety expert Mary Kay Oppie first review the basics, what a smoke alarm sounds like, and what to do if it goes off. When you hear the sound, just follow your plan and go to your outside meeting place. We told the kids we'd be back one night to test their escape skills, taping them with special see-in-the-dark cameras. Got it? Yes! Good plan? Yes! Okay, high five. A week later, we came back after the kids were asleep. With cameras rolling and their parents watching, okay, you ready? we ready set off the smoke alarm. You'd think this sound would be enough to wake anyone, but smoke alarm studies show nearly half of kids sleep right through. The reality is that children spend twice as much time during the night in deep sleep compared to adults and that stage of sleep is more difficult to awaken from. Just look at Lindsay. The alarm shrieks just feet from her bed, but she barely stirs. James and Johnny, also completely oblivious. How are you feeling right about now, 30 Terrible. seconds in? Sick. I want to run up and like grab them as if this is real fire. One minute in, Justin wakes up and covers his ears. But when that doesn't block out the noise, he leaps out of bed and rushes downstairs into his parents' arms. Come on, it's okay, it's okay, come down, come down. Come Experts down. say this fast reaction okay. could have it's saved okay. his life. In a fire, time is your enemy. And most people don't realize that a fire can go from first ignition to flashover, when everything in the room is on fire, in as little as three minutes. That's your window of opportunity to get your family to safety. So we let the alarm ring for three whole minutes. At one point, Johnny lifts his head, then goes back to sleep. His brother James, no movement at all. Now watch Lindsay. She rubs her eyes, but instead of getting up, she pulls the covers over her head and falls back to sleep. Her parents were shocked. That's upsetting because you just think because they yes you to death and they understand mm -hmm. run across the street that they would do that and mm -hmm. they can't do it if they're not reacting to a smoke alarm in the end we let the alarm run for 22 minutes but three out of the four kids slept right through the richardis admit they never planned for that experts say that's why home fire drills are critical and if you didn't realize that your kids may still be sound asleep and they're not halfway out the door with you already are you ready for that if you have not planned and practiced, the answer is no. 
really is alarming and eye-opening and safety experts recommend that you run drills at night with your family at least once a year and for the earliest warning install smoke alarms on every floor of your house and in every bedroom mat so while the Rashardis did have the one smoke alarm that was right. working as you saw it was only on one level of their house so is this a, uh, is this a matter of changing the the type of signal getting a lower signal a voice screaming or and and what are the best types of alarms you can buy well the fire safety experts say the best system that you can have in your house are these interconnected smoke alarms basically the way they work they're wirelessly connected throughout the house so that if one goes off they all go off so for example if the fire were starting in a basement as an electrical situation right. You would hear it immediately on the second and, and third, third floor. floor, so it would wake up the entire house. The images of those kids sleeping through it, that's going to scare a lot of parents. I know, 22, 23 minutes, and they were still sleeping. All right, Natalie, thanks very much.